Peace forever and always. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, and welcome once again to another exciting edition of da -da -da -da, The Realities Temple on Earth. And of course, I am the Angel Snuffin' Up 7, your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. As always, in the name of my ancestors, that's who I, I live for. I feel them every day. Okay. Some of y'all out there in the uh, TV land are very educated people. There's no doubt about that. I don't have the education some of y'all have. It is wonderful to see these educated minds and they come to me and they want to and they, they have all these big words and so sophisticated you can tell they are very learned people and that's wonderful that's wonderful I don't have that I only have a high school education that's all I have but you want to know something no matter how much education you have no matter how much higher learning you believe you have if you do not know how to apply what you learn, if you don't know how to think for yourself, it don't mean nothing. Then there are also things, higher learning, that you get just from out of life. Because you can take that professor or this other so-called smart person and put them on the street with the prostitutes and the dope dealers and the drug addicts and they won't make it overnight. Because they don't have higher learning in street knowledge. So don't ever get so arrogant because you got a PhD degree. Some fantastical degree you got from Harvard or Princeton or whatever. That you think you great and so better. Because it's according to what the condition is or the situation. Your degree might not mean nothing. Because on the street, it don't mean nothing. Sometimes, it takes life experience. Now, if you have that learning, and you have life experience, and you combine the two, and know how to apply them, then that's better for you. Some things are learned from experience. So when it comes to the law of the United States of America, the justice system, I don't, I'm not going to just tell you because I went to Harvard Law School. Or my daddy is Judge Joe Brown. I'm telling you from personal experience and personal experience because I understand, even though I have a high school education, I understand the law and what happened to me in that legal system. So some of y'all are happy to learn that this black man, Maurice Clemens, was shot and killed by police. In a way, it's good because... That saves Maurice Clemens from the humiliation of going through the so-called justice system. And by no means am I happy that Maurice Clemens became a murderer. But from my experience in the justice system of the United States, if you believe that he was set free by mistake. You got another thing coming. It's not just Maurice Clemens. You have a lot of killers and pedophiles. Where do you think all these people are just coming from everywhere? They do it on purpose. Do you understand that they do not want a peaceful society? I was locked up in a forensic mental institution. They always let the most violent criminals out first. And they hold on to the peaceful clients. You have to fight 
for dear life to get out. Because they want them to go into society and commit crimes and do those things to support the justice system so the justice system can make money. Y'all don't believe that, do you? They said, why would they do that? And then this man killed these cops. They don't give a damn about no police officers. They don't give a damn about no medics. They don't give a damn about no firefighters. Only thing in America they care about is the almighty dollar. That's all thing they care about. They do it on purpose. To give you another example, when I was locked up in that middle institution, now listen to me now, all the different middle patients are on different levels of functioning. You can take the higher level people, put them together, put the lower functioning, you can put everybody in these different categories. But they mix them because if I'm clean, why would you want to put me with a dirty person? But they do it on purpose to cause conflict because the clean person going to get upset because this nasty person is living in the house with them. They do it on purpose because they don't want no peace. They want somebody. They want something to always happen. They caused it. Then here they come. We want to try to solve this problem. You want to solve the problem, you crazy, quacky old little voodoo doctor. Y'all the one that caused the conflict. You knew what you was doing when you was putting a dirty person with me and you knew I was clean. It's the same thing in society. I was sitting in court. Here I am, a first time offender. Alleged. Clean record. But here were these people, and I saw this with my own eyes. The judge knew these guys. They were facing from 50, they was facing 15 to 30 years. The judge knew these guys when they was in juvenile court. They, they got a long criminal record. The judge was giving these guys five to seven years probation. And another thing too, they were Caucasian, but they do it to black folks too because they know these black criminals gonna go back on the street to hurt somebody, kill somebody, steal, rape, and rob. They want to keep that conflict in society. That's why they do it. On purpose. They don't care nothing about you getting killed. They don't care about no police officers. The police officer is a tool to be used. And they have been tricked. And we have been tricked to think that the police officer, and then as another thing, they also use the police to do the same thing because they know you got people in society that suffer low self-esteem. So if I put a badge on somebody, they're going to think they're the stuff and go out and oppress the people. The people that they're supposed to serve and protect, they go out and harass the people. Everybody got rights, even the criminals, so-called criminals. Before or whatever, before you even charge with a crime, they think that you're a criminal, whatever. And the police go out and harass people on purpose. All this is designed to keep conflict so the judge can have a job. So these lawmakers can keep making all these crazy laws that y'all don't know nothing about till you get in trouble. Until you get them handcuffs put on you. Then you find out, then it's too late. You didn't know nothing about that law. Tons and tons of different laws every day. We don't need it. Then, when you break the law and don't know nothing about it, what they talk about, what they say, ignorance of the law, what is that they old saying? Ignorance of the law is no excuse. That's the most dumbest thing I ever heard. If you don't tell me about the law, how I'm going to try to avoid breaking it, you bastard. But I'm telling you, black man, I'm telling you, white man, I'm telling you, Native American, Asian person in America, the law you think is there to support that, protect and defend you, is there, this whole system is designed to make money off of you. Then, you, then once you get incarcerated, now they're making people pay to be on probation. You got to pay them money. It's
It's all about money. It's all about keeping all this going on. Believe it or let alone, I'm telling you, it's done on purpose. And you're foolish in your mind if you believe that it's not. Paul in America, that's what it's all about. A slick way of making easy money. I'm telling you. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. Thank you for listening again. Uh, this was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth. Till next time. Peace.